Hey guys, this is a fun one. So I'm here at our warehouse and repair center uh, in Haltom City, and um, we have uh, these Dynamo air hockey tables um, in the arcades. And these were not designed to have a free play mode. And so uh, what we did is we put a button on the front of it, and this is what most people do, put a button on the front of it, and you press that button uh, to simulate a coin drop into the machine. Um, the problem that happens with that, though, is I don't know why, but these kids will come up to this machine and instead of just pressing the button, starting the game and playing it, they'll walk up to it and they'll just bam, 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 tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, hit it like 20 times. And I don't know why. <laughs> don't know why. Anyway, the problem is that puts the game into a state where it thinks it has a coin jam. It throws a big error up on the screen and no one else can play it um, until somebody comes over, opens the coin door and, and resets the game. But we have a solution for that and it is called an Arduino. And so what I did is I took a little Arduino Nano and I wrote some custom code on it. And what that does, we're gonna put this between, I just have a button here for, for show, but we're gonna put this in between the button that's here and the board on the game. And so the Arduino is going to receive the button press and then it's gonna transfer that button press to the board of the game. The cool thing is, the button, after it's been pressed one time, for the next 35 seconds, it doesn't matter how many times you press it because they're completely ignored and none of those presses will get sent to the game board. And as a matter of fact, I added a cool little feature where the button will blink to let you know it's locked out. So let me install it real fast and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we have our button installed with the Arduino in between. So you can see now if I press it, it adds a credit to the game. But I can press it again a whole bunch of times and nothing happens. And nothing will happen until 35 seconds has passed. That is how you fix a credit button on a Dynamo air hockey table so that you can only press it once every 35 seconds. Well, this is Mike from the Time Rift Arcade, and I hope if you see me walking around, you come and say hi.